And welcome to Bobby Xandre here. Well, Xandro, trying to keep it simple for everyone. I am bringing you a new series named Royal Envoy Collector's Edition. Now, I got this game from Big Fish Games. It's an amazing site. The games are just purely amazing. I love the strategy ones. And I remember I played this ones before the game, but never really gotten into it. But since then, like the last game I, I played, like Land Grabbers and, and the Grey Goo, the thingy that ate space and time, did so well on my on my channel, so I thought, well, why not? If people like it, I'm gonna do more things like this. Tidings from oh. Islandshire. Yes. A devastating storm swept across the islands, and nearly all the houses were washed clean into the ocean, and the rainy season has not even started yet. Oh my. Hmm. A grave misfortune, to be sure, but what care we for island shark? Oh, you bitch! How could you say such a thing, Your Majesty? Why, it is during the rainy season, while tucked away in their homes, that the people of Islandshire produce items of astonishing beauty and craftsmanship. Aww. Take, for example, uh, this magnificent statue of Your Majesty. The poop hair. Hmm, well... <laughs> or your throne. Yes, I suppose. Or even your handsome shoes. Oh my god, those are some gay ass shoes. Jesus oh, Christ. Yes, indeed. How I do love my shoes. Oh, he's so we gay. shall aid them at once. <laughs> yeah, but now you do, be? huh? Why, they need nothing other than a leader uh, capable of organizing them and, and overseeing the building of a few houses. Uh, several hundred, to be precise. Continue. I have already drawn up the construction plans. All that remains is the appointment of the chief town planner. So, we need an exceptionally smart, shrewd man. Yes. Bold and decisive. Yes. Handsome and noble. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And of course, not wearing a silly wig. <laughs> oh, well. There are many brave men, excellent women, and intelligent children in my kingdom. But I believe I already know who would be the best choice. Hmm. And I wonder who, who might that be? You shall be Don't the you one point at me, to help bitch. the residents of Islandshire prepare for the harsh my eye and relentless rainy season. Amazing. These are the islands. I'm gonna explain to you in a bit what, what my plan is for this game. Just let's let's hear this guy out. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Cedric, and the king has graciously entrusted me with the honor of assisting you. Yay! Okay. 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 Uh, I was gonna say something. Yeah. So to start the game out, these are the islands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight islands. I can't remember the, if there are any more, but hey, if there are any more, then hell yeah, it's fun. Uh, so I, I was thinking of doing one level, one level from my island per video, but if I remember correctly, the, the islands are pretty fast to, to finish. So instead, what we're gonna do is one island per video, because that mm, I think it's the five levels per island. And here is the town in which we begin our building saga. Let's get started. Click to continue. There's another house, pay rent. Okay. Click on the rent because, and then the tax collector collects the rent. Bring it to the castle, look at them go. Okay. Uh, sure, by collecting rent from the houses, we replenish our uh, coffers with gold. Okay. Let's build the first house. Okay, I'm gonna click on it. Vacant lock. Cabin. Give him a rent. Walker has arrived at the site and soon the cabin, the cabin will be ready. All you need to do is wait. So, this is basically it. You have to m rebuild the town. Be careful to stay in the time limit because if you get the gold star, you get bonuses. And that's basically it. And you have to, to finish the, the tasks here. So, yeah. The town requires five cabins and a thousand five hundred gold. We already have three completed, so you only need to build a couple more houses. Okie dokie then. 
So yeah, let's build another house here and another house here since we have two workers. And we have five tax collectors. Why not? So yeah, this is the game basically. You just collect, collect taxes, build houses, build upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, at least that's everything I remember. I can't remember if there's something else. It's it's a pla more or less plain game, but at the same time, it's so awesome, it's so entertaining. It, it takes if you're having a, if you're having a bad day or you're being you're stressed out of your fucking mind. Sorry for cursing. <laughs> you can just play this game, and it will always relax a person. Like seriously, there's no better therapy than a than a well-made strategy game. At least that's my that's my opinion. There's no way that you can beat a well uh, a, a well-made strategy game, just because it's it's made to make you think, but at the same time for a specific kind of things. And we did it! Because I remember. Okay, this is the re uh, the the resume thingy data of the game of what the yeah what you did. And we shall continue to level 2. Sandra, you have done it before? I must admit, you handled everything marvelously. Let's hear how th let's see how things are going in the next round. In the next town. Let's see, shall we? <laughs> okay, so yeah. This shows the quantity of building materials that uh, at our disposal. There's not much, not enough even for building one single cabin. Okay then. A sawmill is the best place for marketing mater making materials. To construct one, to, uh, click on a vacant spot. Okay, how about here? Make a sawmill. Sawmill, it will only take a few seconds. Okay then. Perfect. Until then, we're gonna, we're gonna get some rent. Just like these. Okay, the summons uh, is ready. Uh, let us produce some materials. Let us start with a hundred wood. Why not? Just look at that, how the worker produces material in our brand new sawmill. So yeah, you produce wood that's used to build houses with the money of the rent of the from the rent of the houses. So it's basically like a uh, a leech, uh, a symbiotic parasite, like you need one for the other and you need the other for the previous one, basically. Uh, okay, five cabins. A cabin is how much? 75. E we're gonna need another, another batch. <laughs> So yeah, just starting me ma start making some houses. Meanwhile, uh, you know, I was thinking of waiting for the 2000 one. To be honest, if we complete our task before the golden time runs out, uh, we'll be awarded a gold star for this town and a bonus for that as well. And no one, no one said anything about it. So yeah, let's build another cabin and another cabin just because we can. We, yeah, we have enough. There's no problemo. So, at this point, the game is fairly easy, right? I mean, you just build cabins, take rents, and well, build sawmills. What can I say? And you need to finish the tasks before the golden time runs out, and this is gonna be a bitch. This is gonna be the. the, the I think it's gonna be a real bitch later on, you'll see. The, re the resume? Resume, yeah. Resumed data of the game. Okay, let's continue. And on to the next island. I I'm trying to do this fast because I don't really want to waste any anyone's time. I've done the, the, the first island, as I said before. I played, I've played the first island like a, quite some time ago. We can make the homes more comfortable by adding various Im improvements. This also increases the rent. Okie dokie. Uh, click on any cabin, click on garden, to improve the, the uh, living quarters.
Wait, oh no, that, oh yeah, that was the, oh that was the upgrade, okay. Yeah, later on we'll be able to make gardens. Oh, I didn't notice this. The butterflies move. <laughs> okay, three cabins with uh, three stars. No problem. As soon as, as soon as we'll, we build a sawmill, we'll be able to build houses. Because there is no, 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 you stay here, you stay there. Okay. Because we don't have enough wood for another cabin. Uh, not talk about uh, upgrades. So yeah, we need lumber wood to make another house, another cabin. And then, so since we have two more people, let's upgrade this. We're gonna wait to take the money first, because if you take, if you take the money, well, if you make the upgrade, then it's not gonna be enough. Uh, like, wait, what the hell am I talking about? Okay, so you have to grab the money first and then make the upgrade, so that you wouldn't lose the money, basically. If you click on the upgrade first, you're gonna lose the money. As easy as one, two, three. Basically. Okay, so we're making fine progress. We have enough time. We're getting there with the money. We're not gonna have enough enough uh, wood, to be honest, because it uh, for one house to be level level three, it takes six uh, forty five wood. So yeah, we're gonna get some lumber first. And I believe that with this lumber, we're gonna have enough for both houses to upgrade. And there shall be no problem. What I didn't notice, or I didn't really bother to notice, is that if you have the money and then you keep click upgrade, the money disappears. But then afterwards, I believe that you still get the full progress bar. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so it was half. Mm, now we'll see how it's how it's going on. We'll see how it's how it turns out. Yeah, get the money. No, no, no. You get less on the progress bar. That's a bummer. But still, whatever. It's still fine. It's still fine. We'll get we'll get enough money from the upgrades. So it's not not the end of the world yet. <laughs> oh well, what can I say? I, I'm not gonna get more wood because it's, it's not worth it because they're f they finished. The tasks have been completed, and now we shall continue! Oh no, wait, 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 this is level 3, so... Since we finished the island, we are going to go for now. This has been the intro introduction for the Big Fish Games Royal Envoy, so I hope you enjoyed it. This is the first one, and I believe that they have two more games. So, if you enjoyed the video, I... Would be, I would really appreciate it if you clicked on the like button, share it, and spam the shit out of the comment section below. And let's see, yay, we have a trophy! Hooray! You have completed all the levels on Palm Island within Golden Time. Now we receive a well-deserved trophy. Hell yeah, boy! By the way, this is our trophy room. You can consult the, store, the ship's log and view the cutscenes or check the words you have already at any time during the game. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so now... Excellent, Palma is finished and Rocky Islands awaits. Onwards, let us greet the inhabitants of this... Well, Rocky Island, of course. Okay, so... The thing is, we finished Palm Island, we're going to Rocky Island, and Rocky Island is gonna be next, next week. I'm gonna release these episodes uh, every week, like, for example, uh, let's say every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, why not? Every Thursday there's gonna be a new... One, two, buckle my shoe, <laughs> three, four, knock on the door, five, six, ah, it's your good self. <laughs> Wait, you met my bad self? I've been going over my calculations, and it seems that a, a small error might have crept into them. Mm -hmm. I was attempting to estimate how many nails we would need to rebuild all the houses in Islandshire. Mm -hmm. And as you can see from this, uh, 
and this, mm -hmm. the answer is uh, <laughs> one <laughs> slightly wrong. Slightly? Or perhaps more than slightly, uh -huh, as uh -huh. the numbers should probably be uh, closer to one million, if not more. <laughs> yeah, shit like that happens. Don't worry about it. I'm afraid my calculation will take some time, and while I'm busy counting, you can help the inhabitants of the next town. Sure, why not? Next time. So, again, thank you all for watching. Please, if you enjoyed it, share and leave a like. It would really help my channel out. And hope to see you next time. Bye, y'all.